All right, we're back again. It is time to recap week two. I can't believe it. Um, we are a sixth, I can't do math. Yeah, sixth of the way there. Is that right? Sixth of the way there um, with week two being done and complete. Check it off the list. We survived, we made it. And I have some good reflections. Um, the biggest reflection is that the saying that in a fitness journey, people think the hardest part is gonna be the gym, but the actual hardest part is the kitchen. For me, that is 1,500% true. I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of nutrition because I have just been an intuitive eater. And that means that my eating habits are kind of like a roller coaster. Like, I, if I'm busy one week, like really busy with work or friends, friends is hard because it's usually going out, but with work, I'll eat quick, fast meals that are usually just like get something in my, in my body. Um, and then my protein goes way down when I'm eating out with friends. That's when I'm like overeating in terms of my calories because usually alcohol is involved. That's when usually like carb-based dishes are selected like pasta things like that um so that's not gonna work um I will say at the start of this journey I was like I'm gonna focus on eating my protein which I have been I was focused on getting 30 grams of protein per meal um so that would be base 90 grams of protein in a day now I needed more, so if I just like had an extra protein full fueled snack, I would be closer um, to what I needed to be, and usually like a gram or two under. So I was doing that. I felt consistent in week one, upping that protein intake until week two. It was Tuesday and Wednesday that I did not enter in my food into an app or a tracker. Then Wednesday night, actually, no, it was Thursday afternoon. So Thursday, I was like, oh, I need to be better. So I'll do that this afternoon when I went on my walk. I remember now. It was only last week. Um, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I entered in the food while I was on my walk. And I had had an early dinner because I wanted to go on my walk and then straight to the gym. Tuesday... I realized after entering in my food, I was over by about 100, 120 calories. Not bad, not great. Wednesday, I was over by about 160, I think 150, 160 calories. Thursday, at this point, I was on my walk, like I said, and had an early dinner. So I was in my mind, like, good. I, had, I thought I had space for another snack, um, like after the gym, but at that time, so I'd eaten breakfast, lunch, dinner, I think I had a light snack, I don't remember, in the middle of the day, but I was 17 calories over. So that initial shock of seeing I was already over Tuesday, Wednesday, and if I like was gonna eat something after the gym, I would then still be like 130 calories over to maintain my deficit. So that's not over in terms of like general, that's like over the calorie number that I needed to hit or I need to hit for my deficit. In the grand scheme of things, I am fully aware that going a little over is not gonna break me. At the same time, if I'm consistently over, 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 I feel like it's detrimental to my like weight loss. On this walk, went through a panic saying, should I not go to the gym? Because I know after the gym, if I work really hard, I'll be hungry. And I've never been the type of person to starve myself. There have been times where I'm like, oh, I need to lose weight. So I eat small like more small meals throughout the day I've never really been comfortable with ignoring my hunger 
or like to the point where I have hunger pains or anything like that. Um, it's just not for me. Also, side note, I have no makeup on, but I have these two Mighty Patches on. And if you see it, that's why I'm just battling these breakouts and decided to go to Target and buy all the things and just kind of start with a fresh face. So tomorrow will also be a no makeup day. Just let my skin breathe, but I have these Mighty Patches on um, today. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, that I've never been that person to like ignore my hunger essentially, but I still went to the gym. I still worked out really hard. I pushed myself and I worked out. I was super sweaty. Like I gave it a hundred percent at that workout and I got home. I hydrated. I did all the things to like make sure I wasn't just eating because I was bored, sitting on the couch, watching a show, etc. Maybe like two hours later, I started feeling hungry. And this wasn't just like hungry. This was like, I need nutrient hungry after the workout. Like I felt fatigued hungry. Like my body, my muscles felt fatigued and it wasn't just tiredness. It's like, you can tell. So I ate a banana and I'm sitting there. I finished my banana and I start to feel this like guilt, which I'm like, I've never really felt this guilt in such a like minute way where I'm like, I ate a banana. Oh my gosh, that just broke me. So now I'm 117 calories over or whatever it is. Um, so I took to the Fit Body Facebook group and got the confirmation, the affirmations that I did the right thing and listening to my body. Um, so my biggest takeaway is that if I'm going to the gym, fuel my body before so I'm not starving after because that has happened um especially two weeks ago I think it was in week one but I also need to like maybe allow myself for a post-workout protein bar or a snack like that's 100 calories like that's not that much at all like a literal banana was 100 calories um now I do want to push myself to pay attention to maintaining this deficit at the recommended number of calories because obviously it's not gonna break me because I'm still at a deficit. So going, like if this is normal, I'm at a deficit. So if I'm going over calories by a little bit, I'm not gonna like be overeating that I'm gaining weight, but I'm not gonna see results, I don't think. And I don't necessarily know where my maintenance calories are. Um, in terms of like how many calories I'm reduced, but I feel like it's only like, what is it? 300, 400 calories reduced is a deficit. I don't, I'm, I'm totally making that up. Don't quote me at all. Um, so I have no idea. That's why this journey of nutrition is much more confusing and I feel lost and I just am taking it kind of two days at a time. So for week three, I've been loosely pre-planning my meals, saying like breakfast for me is routine. So changing my breakfast to be a little bit lower on calories so that I can kind of use some calories at the end of the day when I do need fuel, but still getting protein in with my breakfast. So I've adjusted that and I'll talk about that more next week. Um, but what else? Yeah. In the gym, I feel really strong. I haven't noticed much physical change, um, but getting back into like consistently working out and instead of saying, oh, today's a rest day and just still making it happen either at home or at the gym has felt really good. Um, so that part feels much more linear than my nutrition journey. So I'm gonna change into my outfit that I've been using to kind of monitor my progress, but. One thing I will say is that I have noticed um, in filming, I've noticed more definition in my arms and shoulders, which I really like, but not too much in like a stomacho region, which is like obviously the goal, but that for me takes a long time. That is around week eight. I don't expect to see anything um, at all. And even then it'll be like a subtle change. Um, for me, that's just, like the center of my body, like all the way around is where I hold the most 
weight, um, the most fat, my body holds on to it with a vice grip. So I don't expect to see much change there, but I have noticed more like muscle definition. And I will say the tone workouts, following the recommended weights in my mind, I'm like, oh, I've, I've squatted 205 before. Like I can, I can do sumo squats with more than just like 15, 20 pounds. Um, 20 pounds round round three my legs my quads were shaking so it's a very different type of workout which I appreciate because it is good to switch up your workouts and um, incorporate muscle confusion and all of that so let me change and I will see you next week again we have these 90s baby shorts I'm gonna roll them once well from the white part to the this. I don't have contacts or glasses on and I can barely see myself um, so bad, but still toits. Um, shorts are freshly washed. Shirt I only wore for that one video because the stain is still here. Um, so here we are again. This is bracing. Clean up back. And then fully relaxed. Straight on, fully relaxed. Still rounded. That's okay. I have organs and rolls. So eat rolls, forget the trolls, right? That's what we're going with. All right. So this is the end of this video. I am super excited to continue this progress and continue this learning journey really about how to live a better, fitter overall lifestyle. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.